Hi everyone, me again. Right, this video, um, I've been building. Uh, I'm not going to show you my pulse motor. Instead, I've been building something else. I've been building a coil winding machine. Why? Um, because it's a pain in the arse to wind coils. Uh, anyone that's uh, wound a uh, um, coil with like 600 plus winds on, um, bi filer tri filer uh, will know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's take a look. Got plenty of light, probably too much light. Right, uh, about half built. So let's run through it. Worm gear there, uh, with a big ass motor. That'll turn the coil itself. And that, shift that battery out of the way. Goes in there. Sandwiched between there and there, basically. Right. And that bit automatically turns. Now, to get uh, the winds on accurately without slipping, uh, you need a little carriage that moves. Right, let's take a look. Started building the carriage here. Find a place where you can actually see it. There we go. Two micro switches either side so that when the wire moves um, down the coil, uh, the carriage will move as well. These two little switches. There you are. See when it goes to one side it'll wind it up this thread and it goes to the other side it'll wind it back down again. Simply enough, no problem. Now, in order to get the number of winds accurate and to get it to stop, a um, little circuit board required. That'll be this one on the side here. It's a counting board. Um, four figures. Um, it's got manual buttons there for uh, setting the number of winds, etc, etc. Uh, four figures, so it'll do 9,999 winds in one go. I doubt anyone will need anything more than that. I certainly won't. Hell, at 9,000 winds? Whew. That'd be a big coil, unless I'm using really small wire. Anyway, right, take a look. That motor works. Got a little battery on here, just to show you. And doing this with one hand is a bit difficult. I must warn you now, it's quite noisy. And you see, you can see it uh, turning. On my display, it actually shows it spinning in the wrong direction. Hmm, oh well. Anyway, that's that one. It's, uh, it'll do quite long coils. Um, it'll do quite deep coils as well, which is good. Um, those screws there and there, are so I can detach that and take the coil off. Ingenious. Okay, the other thing that needs to be done is the winding part, which is this one. It moves the carriage. Got that part done. Right, one thing I will show you. Little uh, 12 volt adapter. Just bear with me. Doing doing this. I'm just going to plug it in. Do 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 do. Essentially down there. Just bear with me. That's live. Right. Let me show you the counting machine. This uh, ribbon comes with it. Um, the kit that I got was, I think it was about £15, uh, but you sold it all together yourself, which, to be honest, not that hard. Well, it's rated 4 out of 5 for difficulty, but to be perfectly honest, um, if you can solder, it's not that hard. Just don't get it too hot. Right, so let's plug this in. 
yes, it's already been tested. Okay. And it decides not to fire up. Have I turned the extension lead on? Yes. I do believe the extension lead is on. Okay. There we go. I've got a loose connection in here, that's why. Give me a sec. Come on, behave. There we go. Oh, bug it, gone off again. There we go. Test good. Does a self test when it starts up. And it shows four zeros. Hopefully you can see that. So that's a weird angle. Right, so start it off, hit set. Right, and that gives me flashing number to set the number of lines. So say 60, and then hit run. There we go. And as it winds up, it counts. Up and up and up and up. And up we go. Hold it, it'll rather rapidly count up. Duty. I love that board. A little bit over engineered for a counter, but I love the board. So that um, cable, I'll show it you again. This one here. There's a lot of wires on there. Two of them are used for power. Now, there's two more in there that I'm going to be using. Uh, one of them is for a uh, little switch that will go on that tub there that will count the number of lines. Wonderful. Okay, there's another one. Um, that will in... Basically, when you set the number of lines and the count equals the number of lines, Right. This one wire goes live. Um, so, that will get fed into a relay, which will turn the winding motor off. Simple. Wonderful. Um, so, literally, you set the number of winds, and when it gets to the number of winds, it will stop. Perfect. One auto winder. So, as I said, it's about halfway finished. Um, should be running today, we hope. Um, and then I get on to uh, doing a ton of coils. Well, not a ton of coils, because uh, kind of haven't got the wire for them. I haven't decided on the wire yet. But there we go. Hope that uh, gives people ideas for making their own. Anyone that does a lot of winding, um, doing gen coils and whatnot. Um, building an auto winder yourself is definitely a good thing to be doing. And so, any questions, comments, as always, give me a shout. If anyone wants to, wants me to uh, wind their coil um, for them, uh, then give me a shout. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.